thank everybody for coming. We appreciate it on short notice. Part of this was my fault. I messed up on something for the last meeting and left something out. Sure and I want to try to get it knocked out so we can finish <laughs> next week. But the first item on the agenda is the planning and zoning ordinance where the planning and zoning commission met on the property that used to be known as the Horn Insurance up on, was it, 10th and Main Street? Mm -hmm. yes. And they're wanting to rezone it back to residential because the gentleman that, that purchased it's want to use it for rental property. And there's residential adjoining it, so they were able to do so, but they need us to approve it, and that'll take an ordinance form, so that'll be a, uh, two readings of that. And I'd like to do the first today and the second next weekend. I'll make the motion, whatever it needs to be. I'll second it. I'm still trying to think where 10 is. There were many. Maybe 11th. I don't remember. Okay. Yeah, Horn Insurance. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is uh, approval for a building facade grant program. This was something I know Hartford did it a couple years ago, and I got some information from them. This year we've kind of gotten to a point where the Tourism Commission felt like they could start using for some funding for other activities outside of the mainstream. We clarified with uh, KLC and through the Department of Local Government as well as uh, LRC to clarify that this would be considered something that was you could do spend tourism fees on and they all said it was and that's what a lot of the cities do so we wanted to try it this year just to see if there was any interest in it it would affect commercial business property it's up to a twenty five hundred dollar grant matching one dollar for one dollar for building facades and and i apologize our printer at work we've been having internet problems this morning so i don't have anything for everybody but basically, it's a facade improvement and building restoration. Uh, items it would include, but not necessarily limited to, is removal of non-conforming false facades, like some of the aluminum siding on some of the buildings. Building cleaning, stucco, new and restored, tuck pointing and masonry, painting with color approval, replacement or reconstructive woodwork, new doors, new windows, exterior lighting and associated wiring, and other approved facade improvements with the city's approval, uh, roof repair and or replacement, and interior structural improvements like floor joists, ceiling repairs, or wall supports, building system improvements such as plumbing, electrical, HVAC, or communications, and other approved building restoration or stabilization investments with the city's approval. Ineligible expenses is new building construction or new additions, financing or refinancing, non-fixed improvements, inventory, equipment, payroll, associated overhead expenses, and liens or taxes. And this is for, I want to say, the business only. Uh, it would take care of anything in the city limits of Beaver Dam. Now we can, we can s s narrow that focus or stretch it as much as we want to. Hartford did it. Theirs was on, uh, anything along 231 from the bridge to the city limits, and I think it would go one block east or one block west of uh, Main Street. Can we make that decision when we receive those funds, that grant? <laughs> yes, and we okay, kind of leave it open. Yeah. We can leave it. My recommendation would probably be to leave it open to any commercial. Yeah. In the city period, because I can't That's think of anything that would be off of that, but sure as you do, you'll have something to be a block and a half. But it is now, it is a limit to, to like a retail commercial or, or a, off, you know, a business office or something that's all kind of open to the public. Okay, so I, I'm always thinking about the building up there. You know, is it grain feed store? Is it roller skating? In fact, and I don't that know. would, it would, would that, yes. Okay. Because really like it's empty right now, but it could be used. Yeah. I'm trying to think, it wouldn't be utilized for like a factory or a. I liked your wife's idea, nice antiques that were in the mall or something. She had that a long time ago. Oh. <laughs> now, is this for buildings that are owned? You, you, can, or you can do either way, but it's still just a dollar for dollar match, and it, either the owner will have to pay the other, and this is a 50% match. The owner would either have to pay the other half or the lessee, but then there's also a place where we'd have to have 
signed off on not only by the person that's leasing it, but by the owner as well on the application. So what was the limit on $2,500. And this is going to be around the city, Nigeria? Well, tourism is funding it, but because it is, it's a program that kind of needs to be a city program. So is there a dollar amount for the first year? I mean, total? Well, they're basically $30,000. I don't anticipate. Well, I know to put the budget in the past. Right. Okay. I don't anticipate. I may be wrong. Hartford hasn't had any. I don't think the last couple of years, but they've had they've had four or five. But there's some communities. Pineville's one of them that's about our size, and they have three or four every year. Hmm. And he says it's really done a lot of big things for Scott Maiden is their mayor, and I'm going to know him. And he says it's done a lot of good things with our community. Hmm. We've got some that are ready for him. For and you know again. if. We can help fun a little bit. Maybe it might encourage some to do something that's kind of on the fence. Mm -hmm. Well, remember a few years ago we did Let's Paint the Town. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was nice, but some of those are ready to be painted yeah. again. <laughs> I like the idea of it. Like I say, I know uh, I've already had some interest from some people who are expressed interest in, in applying for some funds. I know of two, uh, and there may be more. And no more periwinkle buildings. Well, that's why I said we have a sale. I, I thought that. I thought that was funny. But I will need that in the form of a motion. Make the motion that we move forward with uh, the building facade grant. Is that what it's, it's called? Yeah, it's just kind of what I call it, for lack of a better word right now. Second. Okay, I have a motion and a second. Is there any further questions or discussion? Those in favor, signify by the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. And then the final uh, item on here is a Tourism Commission credit card. We knew because the commission even it takes care of its own funding, stands on its own, it's still part of the city, so we need approval from the city for them to apply for another credit card. They've had issues. I don't mean, I don't mean issues in a bad way, but you've got concessions working out of it, and especially when the season started at big shows and needing to get a lot of supplies where we just don't have enough limit on our one card that we have. So we figured by getting two, there'd be one kind of, am I understanding that correctly, Larry? One's going to be kind of for sessions and one's going to be kind of for, but they can mix them if they need to. Shelby's got arsenic stuff. I told her she needed to get another one. Yeah, this is like. That's where it opens up. Oh. You know, when, yeah. here, and here's the thing. When you go to Sam's, they've got a thing now where you can take your phone and scan each item. Right. Check out, you go. Yeah. Well, if we can't do it because it's either Max out or I'm going to say it. So anyway, that's, that's where it's going from. It's, it's desperately needed. I think they're asking. I don't know if she was going to talk to Shan, but I haven't heard if she's gotten any kind of limit. But they're talking about it might be up to $15,000. Well, it needs to be at least ten because I think ours is not been, what, I think yours is, I was going to say four, but it's not. It probably needs to be increased, well, that, wouldn't, that wouldn't go anywhere. Well, no, that's, that's been part of the problem. It doesn't. Yeah. It works okay for, for Larry and him, I guess. Is it through a local bank? The one tourism's getting is through Shannon. No, I mean, if it goes through that, if, if hers goes through okay, we may try to get another one too because ours. Who's, is ours through a local, or was the local bank at the it time? It was set up through a bank, but it's a third party or something. Yeah. It's not the actual bank, so. Well, I make a motion that we are allowed to get another credit card. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify the aye. Aye. Post same. And that motion passes. And since this relates to it, do we need to bill tourism for the charges on our credit card, or how does that work? Oh, it's, it's, a, it's, they a, pay it's, it. it's on the tourism card. Oh, yeah. This, oh, this will oh, be oh, a city. second. They're, they're under our umbrella. I thought yeah. when you. Yes, 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 okay. Yes. Yeah, any, okay. any funds, and we have done this in the past where that credit card would be maxed out. We would use a city credit card. That payment goes straight to the lease and run a check to Amy. Gotcha. So it's gotcha. all, everything is. Legit. Okay, so, oh, no, I didn't so, think of that. So, Elisa writes a check back. To, I thought she just wrote a check to the credit card, and you all just put three or four different checks exactly, in there. Exactly. Okay. But it goes in the same envelope yeah. when you send it. I know the credit card company would love us not to do that. Yeah. yeah anytime <laughs> there's an extra charge, Elisa gets a copy. She's got a paper trail. Check goes to Amy. It's mailed. So. There'll be two checks in that envelope, one yeah. from tourism and one from the city. Gotcha. Yeah. It's good. I like paying on that. that. If it, <laughs> Girls up front, it's not done right. They ain't gonna do it, so it's. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't doubt that at all. I just wondered how it worked because I was like, when you said hours, I was thinking that it was the city's credit card, not designated for tourism. Well, tourism, we kind of we're all friends here, so we 
share well, with one another. <laughs> tourism, in our mind, we kind of operate as two. There's like the amphitheater. There's concessions, mm -hmm. and then there's the amphitheater because it's just easier to kind of keep those separate. We have two separate accounts, checking accounts even. It's all the same money, and it all can be spent one another ever, but this just kind of helps us to keep things separate on what's what. Yeah. Sometimes it's still confusing. It very. <laughs> <laughs> okay, entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Appreciate it very much. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for waiting until 12.30. I could have gotten here. She, she's...